Hello. My name is Carly and I love to explore the impact of photographic moods in AI art. Photographic mood can be an important factor in achieving your goals when creating a set of images. Mood in photography is the atmospheric quality associated with the image. The photographic mood set in an image, often evokes an emotional response from the viewer. As you have seen, well-crafted AI artwork can transport us to another time and another place. Art can evoke a range of emotions simply because of the mood-related aesthetics in the image. Imagine that you crafted a simple AI painting of a sunset over a calm ocean like the one shown. The warm hues of the sky and the gentle waves in the water set a mood of peace and serenity. The photographic mood of this scene is likely to evoke positive emotions in the viewer, such as tranquility and contentment. Conversely, a rendering of a dark and stormy night at sea with crashing waves and ominous clouds like this image, can create a mood of danger and suspense. This mood portrayed in an image can evoke uneasy emotions in viewers, such as agitation or anxiety. The ability to set a photographic mood through simple prompting can be a powerful tool for the AI artist. By purposefully setting the mood aesthetics in your images, you can create artworks that are both visually stunning and emotionally resonant with the viewer. If the AI art generator did not respond to photographic moods, prompting for each desired mood aesthetic for the final composition would be tricky and complex. That is why professional AI art applications such as Midjourney attempt to respond correctly to named photographic moods and styles. To demonstrate how calling out photographic moods can affect people, fashion, and scenes, I will use two different Midjourney prompts for each mood. One prompt for portrait art focused on people, and the other prompt for background art with few or no people. Every image in this video was rendered with Midjourney version 5.2. When I render with the portrait prompt, I'll show four portraits for each mood, as shown here. Watch for the mood's impact on expressions, posture, and clothing. For the background prompt, I'll show four consecutive full-size images for each mood, like the one shown. Please watch for the mood's impact on scene composition, color palettes, lighting, and more. You'll see that a single mood could really supercharge your prompts. You'll find a list of the photographic moods used in this video in the timestamp portion of the description area below. Up next, I'll describe and demonstrate seven of my favorite photographic moods that I wanted you to see in this video. You will see a total of 56 rendered images in the way of four portraits, and four background images for each mood. Hmm. I'm feeling a little moody right now. How about you? Let's get started. The Mysterious Mood A mysterious mood is one that conveys a sense of intrigue, suspense, or suggests the unknown. A mysterious mood usually has low light, but can be a mix of fog and mist as well. You may have additional elements that suggest mystery, such as silhouettes, reflections, or hidden details. The mysterious mood is used in a wide range of dramatic productions, Energetic An energetic mood is one that conveys a sense of excitement, dynamism, and movement. An energetic mood will likely have a mix of bright light, vivid colors, and dynamic compositions. You may have elements that suggest energy, such as swirling or streaking colors, people in motion, people at concerts, or people dancing. The energetic mood is frequently used in both still images and video advertisements. The Surreal Mood A surreal photographic mood is one that evokes a sense of the uncanny, the dreamlike, or the absurd. It can be created by juxtaposing incongruous elements, using unusual 2D or 3D perspectives, or blurring the lines between reality and imagination. Surreal photos often challenge our perceptions of the world and invite us to explore the hidden depths of our own psyches. The surreal mood is often used to set a specific tone for scenes in a horror movie. Playful A playful mood is one that conveys a sense of fun, amusement, or lightheartedness. A playful mood will likely have a mix of bright light, cheerful colors, and dynamic compositions. 
You may have additional elements that suggest playfulness, such as children playing, animals chasing each other, or people smiling and laughing. Somber A somber mood is one that conveys a sense of sadness, seriousness, or gravity. A somber mood will likely have a mix of low light, subdued colors, and bleak landscapes. You may have additional elements that suggest somberness, such as rain, fog, and even dead trees. Dramatic A dramatic mood is one that conveys a sense of tension, conflict, or drama. A dramatic mood will likely have a mix of strong, directional light, high contrast, and vivid colors. You may have elements that suggest action, such as movement, angles, or shadows. The dramatic mood is frequently used in both still photography and movies. Eerie An eerie mood is one that conveys a sense of mystery, suspense, or unease. An eerie mood will likely have a mix of low light, fog, or mist. You may have elements that suggest the supernatural, such as abandoned buildings, cemeteries, or forests. I love experimenting with this mood. Thank you for reviewing the impact of photographic moods on AI art. Let me know the moods you like to use among these examples, or those you favor the most. If what you've seen is of some benefit to you, please like the video. Thanks to all who have subscribed. Bye-bye.